Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Welcome to the Wolf of Down Test Kitchen. I'm here with Matt Macera, our corporate chef. What's up everybody? And we are putting together an amazing all-American dish. We are reinventing tuna noodle casserole from scratch. Man, you're gonna love this dish. Check it out. So I thought we'd take the idea of tuna noodle casserole and take that super turny thing of melting a block of cheese with some tomatoes and we're gonna add kalamata olives, oregano, some fresh garlic, and we're gonna mash all this stuff together and really kind of make it modern, fresh, and light. And I think you're gonna love this one. Yeah, is it tuna? Yes. Is it noodles? Yes. Is it a casserole? Yes. Boom, let's do it. Doing it. All right, so first things first, we are going to take our wheel of brie here, right? And I'm just gonna cut the top, tip top of this off just so it's a little less rind and it melts a little easier, right? This is gonna melt and make a really, really beautiful sauce. Um, we're gonna pop this right in the middle. So then we're gonna take our grape tomatoes and just kind of throw it around. Then we're gonna just take our garlic and just give it a little smash. Boom. And then we're gonna rough chop this. All right, so that's gonna go in. Give that a nice little sprinkle. And then we're gonna hit this with some oregano. Next up, we're gonna add some Calabrian chilies. These things are super delicious and very easy to identify when you taste them. So we have Kalamata olives that have been pitted. And we're just gonna take these and we're gonna cut these in half and then sprinkle these around too. A little bit of salt to this right on top. So we're gonna bake the cheese and tomatoes at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes until the tomatoes start to burst and the cheese is nice and melty. That is beautiful, look at that. All right, here we go. All right, so we're 12 minutes into the orecchette, and these guys look done. Let's give us a little drain, and uh, then we're also gonna add some olive oil to our panko breadcrumb, and then we're gonna wait for the cheese to melt. 25 minutes in the oven and take a look at this, right? It's bubbly, it's hot, the cheese looks nice and melty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon, we're gonna mash all this together. Ooh, look, <laughs> look at that, dude. That just makes me happy. So the cheese is starting to melt and you're stirring all this liquid in together and it's starting to kind of come together as uh, a gorgeous base for a pasta sauce, don't you think? Yeah. I think this looks really, really nice. So the orchetta's gonna go in first. So again, this is a whole pound of orchetta pasta. And we're gonna stir all this in. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Tuna's gonna go in. All right, so panko down first, and don't forget, we have the oven set at 400 degrees, and we're gonna flash this back in just to get a little crispy crust on top of this for some texture. And I think you've got a fantastic pasta dish. All right, so this is it, Matt. I think this looks amazing. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, nice, simple recipe. You guys are gonna love it. It only uses a couple of ingredients, and a lot of stuff you've got laying around anyway. And I think this is like the new standard for the old time classic tuna noodle casserole. Thanks so much for watching Wolf of Down, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Oh yeah, look how creamy that is, man.